Holy crap, it's 27 grand. Boom! Confetti! <laughs> wow! I hadn't noticed that. I've been dinking around with this for three days and didn't notice that this stuff was so damn expensive. It's not like there's not dumpster garbage bins right here. Oh, it has an A320 in the morning. We will accept that. Let's go ahead and start dropping these in here. So arrow time. It's going to be 0600, gate A1. Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. So we're on the Edge server, Edge branch, whatever you want to call it, and we're doing some disassembly required. We've taken the Career Airport. What I'm going to try to do is break this sucker down and then eventually get it to where we add a second gate. That'll be a medium gate, and we'll do like an upstairs uh, deal for it. Okay? So now... <clears throat> hey train uh you're like tearing the airport apart dude yeah check this out so um maybe i'm lost here or something but i'm kind of thinking uh, i need to take that out too uh demolish blop yeah you take that out okay uh let's get that demolished uh okay so the idea is we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff done so you don't have to watch it again because you've seen it ad nauseum. Uh, or we're just going to have it done really quickly so you don't have to worry about you know, watching it through again. Okay, and what we did was got rid of uh, the runway and a bunch of the taxiway to try to consolidate and cut some cost. Plus add a couple of new sections of taxiway here. That gets everything closer into the terminal. I don't like the basic layout of the career airport. So we do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and we'll drop back out of warp speed here and get you back to the regular narration of the video and speed up again later. All right, so part of this, this little process I've been going through here, because <laughs> this is not the first time I've tried to record this. Uh, yeah. I, I overthink it. I put too much into it, and I screw it all up. So we're not going to build an ATC tower initially. We're not going to start building the baggage system because we're not ready for the baggage system yet. We just want to get the airport up and functional and start making money because making multi-levels, which is needed now for the baggage system, is expensive. All right. It's expensive as hell. All right. So uh, point being, you want to start making money first so then you can pay for it because there's there's foundation you have to lay. Again, if you're doing multiple levels, which we're doing here, uh, you have to be prepared uh, to cough up a whole bunch of money. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, drawback to the Edge server is it is buggy, all right? But uh, this has been massaged, I think, a, a pretty good bit. Thus, there's not a lot of issues with it okay okay so in the interest of brevity we are going to fast forward at 32 times speed the setting up of the flight day and the finishing up of the terminal construction and this is going to get us ready and right up to the arrival of our first uh, flight you've seen most of this stuff uh, before uh, not only in my videos but plenty of other people's videos so I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time this this video originally was like an hour long and we're gonna zippity doo dah through like 30 minutes right here and cut this thing down to about a half hour which is a little more reasonable because I know you guys are trying to get to seeing the uh, second level stuff so here we go all right that should get us up and rolling so now the key is just to get to making money and uh, the thing with that is pricing so once we get pricing done, then we'll be able to uh, do some other stuff. Okay, the one thing I want to make sure we don't get stuck on here, boy, oh boy, is, all right, see that wind coming up? Upgrade. ILS. Now, that, now see, now we're shut down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Now, 23 knots, we're stuck regardless if we have ILS or not. But that's a $20,000 investment. 
that will get your airplanes up and run, flying again so you don't have to deal with this. We just lost a couple of flights because stupid ass, stupid ass weather. But now we can handle 20 knot crosswinds. All right, so I think we lost one of our morning flights. It's gonna suck. Departed. Oh no, it got out of here on time. Sweet. All right, so we didn't actually lose uh, a flight. So we, we got, we're okay there. All right, so now this is it folks. There, that's how you take the base career airport and with the amount of money you're given from the start make it functional all right cool that's I mean that's how you make it happen right there uh, you don't get stupid and buy like an ATC tower because you don't need one you're not gonna have more than 10 flights uh, when you have just one gate okay there put that there um, this is stuff that doesn't make money but it does add uh, to your packs happiness okay so that's kind of critical want to put things in that you can add to the happiness factor and not spend a lot of money on um, by improving the environment by adding information Whatever the packs want. So everybody's got seats. We got restrooms everywhere. Bag claim. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. This thing's making. Look at it. Look how much money this thing makes. All right. These kiosks make a butt ton of money. If you look, that's revenue today. It's going to be over $1,500 by the time the day is done. All right. And how much did it cost? Like 24 grand? Let's look at this. So you're going to see how quickly. 15 grand. So 10 days. Let's see where we are. All right, we're going to make more than 15. We may hit 2,000 if it keeps going. Keep going, keep it going, keep it going full steam. Too sweet to be sour, too nice to be mean. All right, let's see this thing keep coming up. Now 26 knots. Wow. World's winds are really coming right now. Zoiks. Oh, now we're showing a crosswind. Yeah, I know. We're just going to have to wait. It should be good now. Yeah, there you go. Clear that sucker out of here. All right, we're going to make 2,000. Now, this, so this kiosk is going to pay itself off in like eight days. And it's still going. Still going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. This is awesome. You like this. All right, people are flowing through. This is good. Baggage is on board. You know, we didn't have very many packs, but that's okay. Aircraft is off the gate. All right, so now we're going to hold up here. Well, we're going to get hosed on that deal anyway. Where are we here? 2160. Yeah. Big money. No whammies. Uh, this made 70 bucks. That's not much. Wow, electronic spending didn't make squat. Hmm, we may have to relocate that. And the newsstand only made 35. Ugh, that's not good. So we may have to ditch those. Uh, they may not be in a very good spot. ATM, oh, we you know what? We can, um, whoops, I'm not seeing the, oh, there it is right there in front of me. Hello. Hello. Blah, 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 uh, okay, so let's take a look at this multi-level thing, shall we? You're an imbecile. Uh, if you watch my introduction to this, you'll know that what you have to do here is um, you can build below ground anywhere you want. All right, now, here's the thing. See this outline? That outline is what is on ground level okay so it gets darker here because you're on basement two as opposed to basement one now above ground this is second floor so you can just see basically the roof line of the building all right and then you go up the third floor uh, you see the same roof line but you can't build on the third floor until you build on the second floor so if you build above ground you have to build something underneath it so you have to build on the ground level then you can build above it all right that makes sense. 
Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. So for now, we're going to stick with this. Um, now, the cool thing is we've got almost enough room here. If we took some of the seating away and took that wall out, be, I like that wall because it's really guiding the inbound packs and making things look better. Um, we could move one of those uh, gate agent desks over into the space actually for A1. So I kind of think, you know, there's like a line of demarcation here right at this point. So we could move this over here, right? And then uh, we'd have all this space available basically for gate two. We can move these guys. That would be pretty cheap to build some foundation out here and set them up. Uh, that would that would work well. Um, wow, look at that. We're at 1700 so it's $2,000 in this sale. We're making some money on this. Um, so... But at that point, that would mean, you know, we'd have this space available for gate A2. We could build a second gate. I don't think, except for maybe adding a second, uh, uh, one more ticketing desk, I think security could handle uh, handle that. I think it'd be okay. And we wouldn't need to do a whole lot to accommodate that. And that's that much more money. Okay. But what I want to do is put in a medium gate which is the aircraft gate large, right? Okay, so there's a paper. That goes here. Now, if you look at where this is, where that trash can is, that's the two spaces. We're going to do planning. Right here and here, that's where the door needs to go, except on the second floor. So one, two, three, four. So if at the edge of the building, one, two, three, four, five. Edge of the building, one, two, three, four, five. So that's where the gate goes, the, the door, the gate. All right, so if we have this up here, we can wall this off however we want to do it. That's how you kind of start your planning process for the upstairs. Now, depending on how much we want to spend on this, here's the trick. If we do this moving stuff around that we're talking about doing, okay, and we're getting to the end of the day here, so uh, we're going to go through one more day because we're making money, and we're making money pretty quick like I like it uh, I don't even know if we want to dink around with uh, more yeah you know what let's let's go ahead and put in for bank loans we'll get that going all right that gets us to the end of the day and we just paid our big tax chunk sixty eight hundred dollars ouch so we probably are going to want to research that and get that taken care of now adding flights adds money right so we were talking about uh, setting up for uh, the second gate. So our options are this. We can look to clear this space out and basically set up our arrival departure lounge here. So we'd have the gate agent desks and the seating and then people would check in and then go up the stairs up to the second floor and board the aircraft and then those people that deplane the aircraft come off boom they go downstairs and boom they're out of the way right makes sense that, that's a pretty simple deal uh that's the cheapest way to do this all right so let's see what that would cost because the big cost here is going to be the gate so that's 24 8 um and then say we just go with the minimal amount of uh foundation up here okay uh say we used a stairway all right, and let's just say for sake of discussion, so this is the this is the gate. We got to have that. So we're going to do this, and then let me see here. Uh, objects stairway. Um, down here where S is. Stairway up, stairway down. We'll use stairway down. We're going to rotate that this way. All right, that would go like that. Now, I don't think it's going to work though. Requires indoor area not usable in that position. We may have to do like this. Okay? Uh, that would create room for people to get around up here. Okay? Uh, I'm not sure if you have to have like an extra tile underneath. But, oh my gosh, really? How much is that? Holy crap, it's 27 grand! Boom! <laughs> Confetti! 
wow, I hadn't noticed that. I've been dinking around with this for three days and didn't notice that this stuff was so damn expensive. Okay, so the moral of the story is this. Going to multiple levels on your terminal is an expensive proposition. It ain't cheap. I'm Captain Obvious. All right, now, the cheapest way to get through this is going to be, uh, go back to objects, is going to be to set up just a stairway because the escalators are one way. Stairways, people go both ways, all right? They're bi-directional or whatever you want to say. All right, so basically, oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's where that would want to go. It wouldn't be super convenient upstairs. Oh, it might work because we could put one gate agent to the right and then another gate agent or two to the left and then seating to the left. That might actually work. That might actually work. I don't know if you could put blocked by garbage bin. Okay, that's fine. Requires indoor area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not usable in that position. I think there's probably something beneath there. Oh, no. I don't know. But regardless, if we go the cheap route, then uh, that would be the quick, dirty, and cheap way to go. So what we're going to try to do is get the bank loan up because I want to get through this and get you guys edumacated on uh, how to do this multi-level thing just with the base career airport and you see we're making money I mean we took our big hit for the day on taxes and we still got 13 grand now that'll drop down probably to nine eight maybe seven grand yeah see cha ching there goes you know when you're paying out your staff wages and you're not making any money that's what happens all night long um, that said you know what? I think there's part something we can do here. Let's go here and let's go to not manage staff kiosk. All right. Um, uh, we're gonna put one person, one person. Okay, we don't need two people there. Uh, aircraft depart after ten o'clock. Only needs one. One, one, one. So let's see. Oh, 400 to noon. And the 18. Yeah, you know what? That's. Let's go ahead and put this back up to two people. There, there. And the aircraft departs before midnight. And you know what? Everybody ought to be on board the aircraft by then. So that should be. Yeah, let's do, okay, so that's the kiosk scheduling, what is, which kiosk is this? That's the coffee kiosk. So that will help save some money. All right, so now the people are going to take off. And then they're going to turn, oh, look, I get to go home and go sleep. <laughs> I'll go binge watch Netflix or something. And then they're going to come back in like two minutes. And here come people coming back. All right. So people are sitting down. They're happy. That looks nice. Thank you. Good show. Uh, everybody's running through there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know, people come through the middle of that door. Uh, let's see if we can green this up a little bit. Because, uh, watch this. I turn on the environmental heat map. This doesn't do squat. And it's BS, gang. These are huge. These don't do squat. And they're big old decorative plants. This is a plant. This is a big old decorative plant. It's huge. It's, it's four squares. This is one. And one of these doesn't do what one of these does. That's that's a little crazy, okay? All right, so that said, let's see if we can strategically position a couple more plants in here to um, green this place up a little. See, there's one we can get in there. Yep, yep, yep. I think we can get one in here. Wait, no, 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 no. that way they're going that way that blocks usage of a nearby object these don't block the usage of anything but you can see how this is greened in over here that helps that helps get your people you know gets their minds right on um, you know your facilities and stuff so let's uh, let's let's get rid of these things because those are basically a waste of time 
put a couple of these in here. And that'll cover this. I mean, it's going to... Boom. Things are going to go big time. Now, we're going to put... that there. Now, see how we've got the, uh, the heat map here? So that looks pretty good. Now let's take, uh, let's take that and put one more flight info display. Whoa, that's right in the middle of traffic. Really don't want to do it in the middle of traffic. But uh, that's not a bad place for it. Put that there. Okay, and we got people over here. Oh, we got captive audience. See this? So let's turn this sideways and put it like right there. That's not a bad spot. That's even better, I think. Put that there. All right. So when that gets built, oh, you know what we can do? We can put a fountain display in here. Does that? I wonder what that will do for us. How much is that? Twenty-five hundred dollars? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and put the other two plants in there, just because. Info display off because see now see what we've done here. These are our captive audience areas. Security lines. Look at that. Those people spend time in there. All right. They're going through really quick, but when it backs up, they're stuck in line there, and that's where you've got the captive audience. All right. Look there. Boom. So these folks they're using the machines and sitting around. It's jacking up their environmental scores and stuff. See over here. It's doing pretty good. Uh, if we widen this out a little bit here, we'll have room to put plants on the end here because we'll move these walls out one, maybe something like that. All right, so, cool. All right, looks like we're making some money. This is good. This is good, good, good. And we should have loans uh, completed. Very good. So we could take out a bank loan now and uh, get stuff done we want to get done. Let's see where we stand here. As uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do we're going to call a halt to this episode at this point. Gosh, yeah, I know, guys, it's a, it sucks, but we've gotten up to an hour here, and it's way longer than I intended this episode to be. But hey, you're getting lots of good info, you've seen how to completely change the basic career airport into something that looks cool and works great and makes a bunch of money you know cash flow estimate there total 56 grand it's day four right we got 53 percent airline rating 81 plus percent passenger rating so things are looking pretty good here at our little airport we spent a little more money we didn't need to buy this uh which means we didn't need to add these so that was fifteen thousand dollars we didn't need to add medium hangar uh, is what 20,000 something like that 20 25 16 2 so okay so we we wasted about thirty thousand dollars right here that we didn't need to initially but we're making up for it so uh, let's uh, call a halt to this episode and uh, come back for the next time and what we'll do is we'll get a bank loan so we'll have the cash and we'll do the second gate second story and the baggage system that sound like a plan? Cool. I want to be the Star Spangled Man with the plan. All right? So, hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about Sim Airport, now available in early access. Uh, this is the Edge branch. I will, Let me reiterate that. This is the Edge version. You can access that on uh, your Steam library by right-clicking on Sim Airport. Uh, then uh, you'll see properties. Click on properties. At the top of the tabs, there are several tabs. There's betas. 
use the drop down and you can select uh, just the regular you can just select uh, experimental and there's edge edge is the brand new stuff that's rolling out and it's going to be the buggiest but it's the latest and greatest so once you get through that then it drops to experimental there's more users it's a little more stable um, it keeps going from there and then once that goes through the wash and gets massaged out and everything and is in pretty solid shape then it drops to the general servers so I want to show you what's going on with the AI Edge branch with this uh, multi-level terminal thing. So now we've got the foundation for our multi-level terminal we're going to build. Okay, uh, And so uh, like, share, and subscribe for more great content coming soon, including more tutorials here on Sim Airport. Thanks again. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.